Traveling back in time for this one. Let's take a look. We are looking today at Brian Clough. Clough, O-U-G-H names kind of throw me, but Brian Clough's Nottingham Forest from the 1980s. This is from someone called Magico Monta. Apologies for that name, but Italian guy who has a fantastic write-up on his website, a fantastic video on how he set this up, how everything works. It's a, I mean, again, it is a fantastic write-up the way it looks. The only concern is that most of the video is in Italian. So if you know Italian, you're all set. If you don't and you're an English speaker like me, go to the website, look for the English version. He does have a great write-up on how he created this and everything about it. So definitely check it out. But we are going to take a look at the tactic today using our three teams of Liverpool and Aston Villa in the Premier League and our championship side of Ipswich Town. See how Brian Clough's 1980s work can be done in 2024. But with that said, let's head to the Premier League and see how our teams did. Just as a reminder, this is a single save test. I have gone on holiday for the entirety of the season. I'm doing nothing but sitting back on a beach somewhere, sipping my ties while my coaches and managerial staff do all the work for me. So... Liverpool in third place is not bad. You really wish they were in second is kind of the thing. 76 points, 10 off of Tottenham in second. It could have been a weird season, but overall, I think if you took control of this, you could probably do a little bit better. Maybe turn some of these draws into wins, get higher up in the table, hopefully. Aston Villa in eighth, though. You're, they do have Europa League, so they must have won something. But 51 points, 41 goals. It's not the greatest of times so far for them. However, Liverpool do come away from the season with a trophy from the Carabao Cup final 4-0 over Bournemouth, unfortunately losing out in the FA Cup fifth round in extra time 2-3 against Brighton. They do get to the Europa League final, unfortunately losing out again, I mean we've been there before, to 1-0 to Sevilla. Overall, I can't say it's an awful season for Liverpool. I definitely think if you took control of this you could do a bit better of a job, but Liverpool in third place in the table, eh, it's okay. Runners up in the Europa League, not too bad. Fifth round of the FA Cup, though, is not great. But you do win the Carabao Cup, so you do get the trophy. And we can see a little bit less green here in the stats, though. Goals, 26 for Nunez. Salah with 20, not bad. You got a couple there in 10. Assist-wise, 17 for Salah. I mean, he's just a beast. 7 too far for Salah as well as the highest average rating. Very well done. But as we switch over to Aston Villa's side, you can see Carabao Cup fourth round. Two all-in penalties against Arsenal is where you drop out. You get to the semis of the FA Cup, but nil one against Chelsea is where you lose. However, you don't come away from the season without a trophy either. Fenerbahce won nil in the Europa Conference League final, a fantastic one, and there's your Europa League next season. So overall, eighth place in the table, not great. However, you do win the Conference League, so you get Europa League next season, not bad. Semi-finals in the FA Cup, pretty nice there. Carabao Cup, though, eh, not great. So squad-wise, yeah, not a sea of green that we're hoping for, but... 17 goals for Ollie Watkins. Zaniolo was 16, so not a high tally this time around. No assists in the double digits. Zaniolo with nine at the tops and a couple with eight. But average rating, 40 appearances for Coutinho. Wow. But 57 for Martinez with a 705. That's actually pretty good for the goalkeeper. Data hub for Liverpool. Yeah, you got some attacking numbers. Uh, you definitely wish these were a little higher. Usually we get really high attacking numbers this time around. Not so much. Kind of an overall, eh. Aston Villa, I, did they even reach? I mean, maybe shots per game they reached the Premier League average. Everything else is underneath. Stats-wise, pretty much standard fare. Most goals, Liverpool in fourth with 76. Definitely would like that to be higher uh, to do a little bit better in the table. Fewer shots against, though. Liverpool in third with 273. Aston Villa all the way down in seventh with 370. Most possession, no. Most dribbles made. Liverpool in fifth with 635. And then all the way up to most shots for Liverpool in third with 552. But now, how did Ipswich Town do in the championship? Not great. 13th place. Not really all that well done. 60 points, 66 goals. We have seen them with a higher tallies, no question about it. And I mean, you're even 20 position, you know, 20 points off of sixth place or thereabouts. Not good. FA Cup and Carabao Cup. Eh, Carabao Cup third round against Burnley, nil-nil and penalties. Meh, whatever. But nil-three in the third round of the FA Cup against Oxford United. You definitely would have liked something a little bit more from that. So overall, definitely a season to forget for Ipswich Town. Championship, FA Cup, Carabao Cup. All in all, not great. And sadly, really not here in the championship stats list. Most goals all the way down in eighth with 66. I mean, I guess you get top eight at least. And then fewer shots against seventh place with 436. And that's it. 
But let us take a look at this tactic itself. You start with a goalkeeper in defend, fullback on the left in automatic, with a wingback in automatic on the right, a no-nonsense centre-back in defend, both of them actually, a regista in support, CM in support next to a box-to-box -box in support. You don't have a lot of individual player instructions, if any. Uh, inverted, well, there's one at least, inverted winger on the support on both sides, and then a, a complete forward in support up front. Balanced mentality, in possession, attacking with his fairly wide, approach plays pass into space, focus play down the left and the right, passing directness is slightly more direct, tempo is standard, and mixed crosses. In transition, counter press, counter, distribute to the center backs and take short kicks. And then out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, and prevent short goalkeeper distribution. But now, how did it do for our three teams overall? Unfortunately, Ipswich Town doing an awful job sitting in 13th place, and Liverpool and Aston Villa, not the greatest there either. I mean, Liverpool in third, yeah, that's fine. You definitely would like them to get a little more in the points tally. Aston Villa, though, in eighth, now not great. But this tactic itself seems to be, I mean, it's geared specifically towards this team. So, you know, throwing it into a Liverpool, Aston Villa, Ipswich Town, throwing it at any other team uh, from the 1980 Nottingham Forest, it just wouldn't work most likely unless you can mimic that in your team from the 1980s. So definitely keep that in mind. This is a tactic that if you do want to use it with your team, you're going to need to figure out how to massage it into the players you currently have or use it over a couple of seasons, get rid of the players that just don't fit the tactic and put you know some that do in through the transfer market and all of that. But in this case, this save, it didn't seem to work out all that well. But definitely, if you checked it out, definitely let us know what you think of it in the comments below. See how it did for your team. But that is it for me, Stephanie FM, for the Football Manager Blog channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.